all 50 states in america rank worst to best this is going to be really interesting to see how the states are going to be ranked and stuff i know a lot of my american viewers i would love to have your opinion on this let me know what state you're from where you was placed and where you think you should be placed i don't know all 50 states well but i know a few and stuff so i got a good idea of what could be in like the top 10 it depends like what they're going to base it off and that so yeah let's jump into this and check this out yeah see where all 50 states are ranked 50 states one video and only one state can come out on oh, top. this is gonna be interesting will it be yours find out as we ruthlessly Ooh. rank all 50 states from worst to best oh, based beautiful. on their economy safety okay. cost of living schools okay. quality of life and my opinion three <laughs> two right, okay. one let the games begin who's the bottom oh Never wait if you are number 50 I am so sorry, but you gotta let me know if you think you deserve to be 50. <laughs> Louisiana. Not oh. even all the hurricanes can wash away the worst pollution levels in the country. Uh, wait, is it number 50 because of how dirty the water is? This is looking like UK water right here. But you know what they can wash away? Any infrastructure Louisiana does manage oh to build when it's not being robbed by its own government, as it's by far the most corrupt state. So oh, really? it shouldn't be a shock that it's also the third most dangerous state since there's virtually wow. no evidence economic opportunity number 49 mississippi don't get oh, cocky, right mississippi door. the only reason you're not dead last is because you know you're worth less is you're the cheapest state i mean at least louisiana has new orleans while all you have is 94 percent of the farm-raised catfish in the u.s <laughs> oh and also the lowest incomes highest poverty rate highest obesity rate worst health care and lowest life expectancy wait how is that not bottom how is how is that literally not the last mississippi wait what number 48 new mexico despite new mexico being the most oh, dangerous state beautiful. and having the worst school wait wait is wait is the most dangerous state new mexico despite new mexico being the most dangerous state and have oh what a shame because that's actually unreal having the worst schooling system and a terrible economy the median home still costs 260 grand which is a lot more than the other states wait, that suck this bad wait that's actually a high price for the houses in a state that's literally ranked near, near the worst like but if you've what? ever driven through taos or georgia o'keefe country i'm sure you can see why that's why the price is number high. 47 arkansas yo a lot of the bottom states are literally in this area right here we've all we've had louisiana mississippi arkansas new mexico is a bit far but what for being called the land of opportunity arkansas sure doesn't have much of it with the third lowest income second worst health care fifth highest poverty rate and fourth highest crime rate but considering many arkansans take imitating the calls of waterfowl more seriously than improving the quality of life i'm not surprised and yeah the world championship duck calling contest takes place in stuttgart and the duck callers go hard wait is that a real thing? Number 46, Alabama. Yo, what is going on with this area? Bro, the southeast of America, right? Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. It's just this whole area. The most exciting thing to do in Alabama is read its 389,000 word constitution, yeah, which is I'd more than not. 85 times the length of the U.S. constitution. I'd rather not. Well, unless you live in Huntsville, which hopefully you do, because living anywhere else in the state means you're probably in poverty, surrounded by crime, and gonna die before you turn 75. Oh, wow. Number 45. Oh, wow. Kentucky. Sure, Kentucky may have the fourth highest poverty rate and third worst economic outlook of any state, but hey, at least there are two barrels of bourbon for every Kentuckian and $150 million <laughs> is wagered on the Kentucky Derby each year. Oh, wow. Am I right? Hey, listen, at least you guys can be drinking. You know what I mean? You, you, you might be one of the worst, but you, you, you're drinking good. Number 44, West Virginia. After being decimated for decades by the failing coal industry. Oh, no way, West, bro. West Virginia, I know this well from the song. Things may be looking up for West Virginia. Sure, it still has the fourth worst healthcare, fifth worst schools, third worst economy, wow. the worst infrastructure, and second lowest median household income at just $48,800. But those are huge improvements from where the state was just five years ago. Not to wait the numbers you just read out there that that's a huge improvement <laughs> okay mention it's the second cheapest state and oh, the scenery nice. is stunning yeah that's nice number 43 tennessee 
loved by bachelorettes, nature enthusiasts, and country music fans alike. Right, true, true, true. And you're the only Tennessee. Tennessee sure is fun to visit. But not everything is sweet like Tennessee whiskey. As the healthcare and education systems are abysmal, the cost of living is skyrocketing, and it has the third highest violent crime rate. Oh, in wow. fact, Memphis just passed St. Louis for the title of most dangerous city in America. Oh, and wow. while the economy, particularly in Nashville, is growing fast, wages are still nearly 10 grand below the national average. Number 42, uh, that's Oklahoma. What can I say? Okay is okay. You know what? This actually looks like a nice place. I guess. I mean, the healthcare, schools, crime, and poverty are all bad, but at least the infrastructure and economy are decent, and right. it's dirt cheap. Although, with most of the state looking like this, it's not exactly oh, prime okay. real estate. Number 41, South Carolina. South Carolina. Yo, I can't lie. Exactly prime real estate. I can't lie. If one Number of you guys are going to have to explain to me, like, the geography terms, because most of the bottom 10 worst states are literally southeast arkansas mississippi alabama south carolina louisiana tennessee kentucky like what what is going on 41 south carolina south carolina was the second most moved to state in 2020 but it shouldn't let that get to its head because it's still the fifth most dangerous state and while oh, wow. charleston's a cool historic city with a thriving economy it's also gotten pretty expensive and the rest of the state is really struggling so those were the 10 worst states. how comes so many people are moving there if it's so bad though but there we go. We got the bottom 10 worst states in America. I really want to know if you guys are from any of these states. Let me know your opinion in the comments, please. I need to I need to look at them. It's but before we get to the other 40, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And we're also going to give an honorable mention to Washington, D.C. Because if it were a state, it'd be right here on the list. Oh, right, sure, right. it'd have by far the highest incomes, but it'd also be by far the most dangerous state and eight times more politically corrupt than Louisiana. Louisiana. Right. But it's not a state, well, yet. So here's real number 40. What? They're trying to make it a state? Number 40, Missouri. Okay, so Missouri is home to four of the 10 most dangerous U.S. cities, oh, including wow. St. Louis, the murder capital of America. Bro, how is the murder capital of America not the bottom 10? I know we just scraped it, but how? But outside of the crime, which is centralized to a few bad areas, Missouri is pretty underrated. The school's infrastructure and economy are all above average, okay. and there are so many free attractions. Number 39. Hey, look, free attractions, good schools, but I'm a pass moving there if it's the murder, like if they've got a city that's the murder capital of the goddamn whole entire country. Okay. Nevada. COVID decimated Nevada's largely oh, tourism-based wow. yeah. economy, and tourism still hasn't returned to those pre-pandemic numbers. Oh, the really? unemployment rate is the highest in the nation, and while the economy is growing fast and starting to diversify, all the Californians moving in are also driving up the cost of living. Number 38. See, I don't think there was that many bad points with Nevada right there. So, like, I'm not sure. Maybe Nevada should be a little bit higher, considering, like, its tourist locations and... It looked like it had really nice houses as well, but yeah, we, we didn't really dive too much there. Arizona. Good luck enjoying Arizona's Ooh. 300 sunny days a year or 22 beautiful Ooh. national parks and monuments because heat stroke will have you melting faster than an ice cube in boiling water and allergies and pollution will have you sneezing yourself right back inside of your beige Ooh. cookie cutter Arizona home. Oh, wait, isn't that one your neighbor's house? Oh, no, they just look the same. <laughs> wait. Where's the bad point? Wait, the bad point was it's going to be too hot and you're going to be having a lot of allergies. And that's 38. No, nah, Arizona, they've done you dirty. I ain't going to lie. Arizona, unless there's some like more status behind it, um, you've been done dirty. I'm not going to lie. Number 37. Pennsylvania, a Rust Belt state that once played a vital role in building cars, now destroys them with some of the worst potholes in infrastructure. Oh, that, but that hey, while fix. it's not safe for vehicles, at least Pennsylvania is one of the safest states. Huh? Although maybe not for your bank account, since the economy's been struggling for years and meth and opioid addiction is rampant. Uh, Number bad. 36, Michigan. Outside of Detroit, Flint, and Lansing, <sighs> Michigan isn't terrible. There's gorgeous forests and shoreline on four great lakes. Lakes. The Upper Peninsula Ooh. is magical, and it's home to some of the cutest small towns in the nation. Plus, it's really affordable. Wait, what's bad? Wait, what was bad then? It's beautiful? It's affordable? 
was bad. Ah, you've been done that as well. Some of the cutest small towns in the nation. Uh, Plus, it's really affordable. That sounds good to me. Number 35. Ohio. 60 years ago, Ohio, Michigan, and Pennsylvania were some of the best states to live in. But I guess that just shows the dark side of the American dream. Ohio has lost hundreds of thousands of good paying jobs over the past 30 years, oh, which has comes? resulted in places like Cleveland and Dayton seeing poverty rates over 30%. Yeah, but at least real good. estate's cheap and Columbus's economy is thriving. Number 34. Alaska. Statistically, Al Al oh, I was chipping out then because they put Alaska on the map. <laughs> down below number 34 I was thinking, wait, what? alaska statistically alaska should be in the bottom 10 it has the highest filing crime rate second worst public schools gets frigid cold and the cost of living is through the roof yeah why is it not in the bottom 10 then? but the last frontier makes up for it with stunning views okay. great wages and the fact that you get paid to live here huh wait wait what do you mean you get paid to live there Wait, what do you mean you get paid to live? Wait, how, how would I go about getting paid to live there? Not to mention, more Ooh. Alaskans claim their state to be the best than any other state's residents. So that's got to count for something. Yeah, that, right? there's got to be a reason why. Number 33. Montana. While Alaska may be the most beautiful That's state, beautiful. Montana isn't far behind. And its infrastructure is a heck of a lot better. The big sky state is still pretty expensive, however, as many rich West Coasters buy second homes here. So even though the economy is the seventh fastest growing, wages aren't even close to keeping up with the cost of living. Number 32. Indiana. If you're a yodeler, Indiana is not the place for you. It's flat, boring, and the pollution is so bad that you wouldn't even be able to get a yodel in before the atmosphere. <laughs> yodel, hey, yod Bro, how are we, how are we, <laughs> how are we basing how bad a state is if you could yodel? You into a fit of coughs. Now, if you're not a yodeler, there are worse places to live. But there are also 31 better places to live. Bro, am I tripping? Is there a lot of yodelers out there that I just don't know about? Is that like a very common thing or something? Number 31. Illinois. More Illinoisans claim their wow. state to be the worst than any other state's residents, and it shows, as they had the third highest rate of outbound migration in 2020. But across the board, the prairie state is pretty average, and Chicago is one of the most affordable big cities. Number 30, Texas. Texas is on... Wait. Oh, that's beautiful, by the way. But Texas isn't in the top 10. Wait, the, one of the only states that I've actually learned a little bit on is Texas. And I was even considering like two years ago of m trying to like not move there because it's, it's kind of hard just to move to America, but try and like for work because a lot of content creators live in Texas and a lot of people um, in my org uh, live in Texas as well. I was considering seeing how I go about of moving there. Um... Wow, interesting. Texas not top ten. See, it would be it would definitely be in my like top five of states to go to if I was to move to America. Affordable big cities. Number thirty. Texas. Wow. Texas is on track to be the largest state by population in okay. 2050. And for good reason. The cities are mostly affordable, have tons of amenities, right. and their economies are booming. Right. But the rural parts of the state have practically no economic opportunity. Not to mention the healthcare, safety, education, and air and water quality are all well below average too. I still think, te like, Texas being Texas, I still think it should be quite high. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't live in America. Let me know what you guys think down below. But I think I think Texas should definitely be in top 10 from what I've seen. But obviously, I, I don't know America like you guys. So I, I, I could be wrong, but it's definitely in my top 10. 100%. Number 29, California. Traffic, homelessness, Ooh. and the high cost of living are just some of the many reasons people are leaving California. Ooh. But the perfect weather, incredible economy, and breathtaking scenery wow. are also just some of the many reasons people are staying. Or maybe they're just trying to get famous. <laughs> in which case, I hate to break it to you, Ashley, with an eye, but it's probably not going to happen. Wow. Put Number down 28, like that. Delaware. 
Delaware might be the most forgettable state. Sure, there's nice beaches, but they're cold in the winter and overcrowded in the summer. And the rest of the state is more boring than Elon Musk's subterranean business ambitions. Wait, how are you putting that above Texas then? And California? How are you putting that up? Sure. Number 27, South Dakota. You probably wouldn't expect a place in the middle of nowhere to be as economically diverse and self-dependent as South Dakota. But with Sioux Falls' thriving economy, no state income tax, great infrastructure, and excellent affordability, the Mount Rushmore state is the second most Ooh, fiscally that? stable. Plus, the Black Hills and Badlands are simply magical. Wait, yeah, what is that? That is so sick. What is that? I've never seen that in my life. That was so cool. Number 26, Oregon. I lived here for a bit and trust That's me, nice. from the coastline to Crater Lake to Mount Hood, Oregon is stunning. Wow. And the economy and infrastructure are exceptional. The terrible education, pollution, property crime, and high cost of living do put a damper on things though. As does the constant drizzle and gray skies if you live near Portland. Speaking of which, really nice, no, though. it is not just an Antifa overrun hellhole. It's got problems, but the media really overplays them. <laughs> Number 25, Top 25, Kansas. Kansas is smack dab in the middle of the country and smack dab in the middle of our list. It's pretty much the most average state. The end. Okay. <laughs> Number 24. Yo, how is Kansas just getting the end? <laughs> North Dakota. I might have spoken too soon about Kansas because North Dakota is even more uneventful. It's just as flat and boring. And on top of that, it gets really cold, which I don't understand how these are above California and Texas. Like California sure being not top 10 because of how expensive it is. But Texas is like... I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just from what I've seen. It just seems like a good place to live. I, I, I don't know, man. Which I, I guess know. at least keeps the cost of living low because no one wants to live here. Well, except for oil people because there's tons of it and oil pays well. Number 23, Georgia. Does Georgia have exceptional infrastructure, great affordability, and a fast-growing economy? Yeah, but not everything is peach in the peach state because the healthcare, education, and crime rates could use some serious improvements. But hey, at least the but Braves hey. just won the World Series. No, Number 22. Rhode Island. Rhode Island may be the smallest state by total area, but it's not about the size. It's about the motion of the um, air quality. Okay. Yeah, the air quality sure. is great. And it's also the eighth safest state with the fourth best healthcare and an above average economy. Right, sure, it's about. probably the worst state in New England, but considering how great most New England states are, that's really not that bad. <laughs> Number 21. Wyoming. While Wyoming is over Ooh. 80 times the size of Rhode Island, Rhode Island has nearly twice as many people. Well, that is if anyone even lives here at all. I mean, does Wyoming really exist? There's no real cities, and it's over 100 miles between many of the closest towns. But if Wait, it does what? exist, it's the most tax-friendly state and the great- <laughs> If it does exist. Schools, low crime, beautiful nature, and affordable cost of living make it a pretty decent place to live. Allegedly. It looks nice. Number 20. You don't believe it. New York. Wait, what? New York sucks. How the heck is it in the top 20? <laughs> well, haters gonna hate, but despite its flaws, there's no place like it. The That's city is true. a melting pot of everything, and upstate is affordable and gorgeous. Wait, New York's affordable? Wait, where New York's affordable? I, see, from someone that don't live in America, I just thought that New York in general is just expensive. Expe like, it's expensive all over New York. Not just in the center where it's even more expensive, but yeah, that's just someone's, yeah, that's just my perspective of it. Number 19, New Jersey. New York's less interesting, slightly richer, but mostly suburban neighbor would probably seem a lot cooler if it weren't so close to the big city. Oh, wow, sure, yeah. the infrastructure sucks and taxes are high, but New Jersey- At least they got the good view. It also has the third highest wages, fourth lowest poverty rate, fourth best healthcare, second best schools, and fifth lowest crime rate. Ah, uh, not bad, Number not bad. 18. Wisconsin. Wisconsin may be cold, but that doesn't stop the residents of America's Dairyland from Yo, that doesn't look cold to me. Eating more ice cream than any other state. I mean, dairy and beer is the way of that here. <laughs> and speaking of beer, it's kind of a problem with seven of America's 10 drunkest cities being in the state. Oh, but wow. that and the fact that it looks like this for half the year are pretty much the only cons about the place. 
Number 17, Florida. Brr. Huh? Most Wisconsinites probably wish they were in Florida this time of year. But great weather and beautiful beaches aren't the only Wait, reason what? people are moving here in droves. Florida's affordable. The schools are great. Florida's affordable? Wait, I've always known like Florida, to, like from what I've seen, just to be beautiful. And that's affordable as well. Wait, I might change where I want to move to. Wait, Florida, does this slow down there? The economy is the ninth time. fastest growing, and the quality of life is tropically oh self Oh my god. Okay, this isn't, bro, this isn't top 10. Oh my god. And you're telling me that this place is affordable? Planetary. What are we talking about? Number affordable? 16 iowa not to sound corny but if you need a fresh start iowa is the place to go Why? wages are good crime is low and yeah. it's soy cheap here that it actually ranked fifth on our cheapest states to live in for 2021 oh video. wow that sounds good then number 15 connecticut well iowa is a great place to save Ooh, money nice. connecticut is a great place to make money with the nation's sixth highest median household income at 79 grand it's also got the third huh? best the medium income is 79 grand? What? Okay. Public schools, third best healthcare, and third lowest violent crime rate. But there is a huge division of wealth between the affluent suburbs and impoverished cities. Number 14, oh, top North ten. Carolina. North Carolina's economy is skyrocketing in cities like Raleigh and Charlotte, but the rural parts are really lagging behind, which holds wow. the whole state back with an overall poverty rate of 13.6%. At least the people, education system, and outdoor oh, wow. activities are outstanding, though. Number 13, Maine. The rocky cliffs lining the coast and dense forests hugging the mountains and lakes easily That's make the land cute. of lobsters the most beautiful state east of the Mississippi. And Maine's also by far the safest state, which makes sense since it's practically in Canada where everyone is suspiciously nice. <laughs> True. See, like, for me, let's say I was going to move to America... The things that I want to look for is, isn't in states the tax all different? So one, I'm going to want to look for the least tax, right? Then I'm going to want to look for the safest as well. You want really safe. Uh, what else would that? And just beautiful. So, oh, and how affordable it is as well. So they're my top four points of what, I, what I'll need. And honestly, from like these videos as well, it didn't touch on Texas that much, but Texas seems like is near to perfect right so i don't know man i don't know number 12 the test is low down maryland is home to the highest wages in the nation with a median household income of eighty six thousand seven hundred fifty dollars which has resulted in the fifth lowest poverty rate wait what was that six thousand is home to the highest wages in the nation with a median household income of eighty six thousand seven hundred fifty dollars oh which God. has resulted in the fifth lowest poverty rate of just 9.1 percent but uh -huh. that doesn't tell the whole story because while the dc and baltimore suburbs are thriving the rest of the state isn't in the best shape Ugh. Number 11, Virginia. The other state bordering DC might not have as high incomes as Maryland, but it's also a lot cheaper and safer with the sixth lowest violent crime rate. Not to mention, Virginia's got incredible schools, healthcare, opportunity, history, and nature. I honestly don't know how it's still a virgin because it goes hard. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, nice, 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 nice. Right, here we go. Top 10. Now, you guys could probably guess what states are going to be in the top 10 because uh, you guys live in America, well, most of you will. Uh, I have no clue. I have no clue what's to come. Number 10, Nebraska. Yes, it's boring, but stats don't lie, and neither does the lowest unemployment rate in the nation. And okay. with a booming economy, excellent affordability, and great schools, Nebraska really is the good life. Number 9, sure. Hawaii. A gallon of milk may cost five. Oh my God, I forgot about Hawaii. Wait, wait, Hawaii is number nine? Wait, Hawaii is unreal. Five bucks and home values are by far the most ex Hawaii. A gallon of milk may cost five bucks and home values are by far the most expensive of any state. But it can you really sense, put though. a price on paradise? Well, considering Hawaii oh is home to the best healthcare system, healthiest residents, fourth highest wages, lowest stress levels, best air and water quality, and highest life expectancy. I'd say that's priceless. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's actually unreal. I see why it's not higher than number nine. 
Um, but yeah, that is just unreal, man. I'd love to go to Hawaii. Number I'd eight, love it. Idaho. There are many reasons Idaho has been the fastest growing state for four years running. Boise is one of the best cities in the country. It's the third safest state. And there are over 50 million acres of gorgeous, untouched nature. Wow. I wonder what's number one. Oh, I'm actually really excited for number one. Number seven, Vermont. Once people Vermont. move here, they don't leave. I promise that's not as ominous as it sounds. Basically, Vermont has such a high quality of life that no one wants to leave. Oh, really? There's great people, beautiful scenery, incredible infrastructure, no good? pollution, and it's the fourth safest state with the fifth best schools. Cool. Number six, Colorado. Colorado. The 58, 14,000 wow. foot mountains aren't the only thing that's high in Colorado <laughs> because the cost of living keeps going up. Now, thankfully, so do the incomes as Colorado also has the second best economy. Uh, it's good. Number five, good afford Minnesota. It. If you don't mind negative 40 in the winter, I don't know why you haven't moved to Minnesota yet. Because besides the weather, everything else here is hot. With the third best economic opportunity, third highest life expectancy, third lowest poverty rate, and wonderful healthcare and infrastructure. See, of all the states that we've seen, especially in the top 10, this don't look like even close to the best. So the stats must just back it very good plus you get to say oh Wait, number what? four <laughs> washington sure the mist gets so Ooh. thick that you can hardly see at all but you probably won't be spending much time outside anyway since everyone here is a workaholic I mean, Already? you kind of have to be to afford the rent. The economy continues to be one of the best with no signs of slowing down, however, and the scenery is yeah, jaw-dropping. Now, before we get to the final three, if you want us to update this list every year, let's hit... Oh, top hey, here we go, top three. Listen, if your states came up already, let me know your opinion. Let me know where you think you should be. Uh, if you think he was wrong about any of them, I need to know, but let's go top 5, three. 5,000 likes. What we got? Number three. Massachusetts. Massachusetts is by far the most educated state, and right. it makes sense since it's also home to the best public schools and many of the highest paying jobs. Not to mention it's got the lowest property crime rate, second best health care, and so much history. Hey, good job, Massachusetts. Number two. Utah. Huh? Utah? Yep, Utah totally heard me right. <laughs> Not only is there breathtaking nature wow. everywhere, Utah's also in the top five and pretty much Okay, that's unreal. That is unreal. Every statistic that matters, including the number one economy and second lowest unemployment uh? and poverty rates. No wonder Utonians are the happiest residents in the country. They're all chilling. They are all chilling. Right, you guys will definitely know what's number one, but I don't because I don't know what states are left. But, um, <laughs> hey, number one, here we go. Let's see. Let's find out who is the best state in America. Number one. New Hampshire. New Hampshire uh, is nearly perfect in every category. How from being the second safest state to having by far the lowest poverty rate and best economic opportunity. Plus, the natural beauty is magical. Wait, it might not be showing like the good pitch. Like the mountains in the back look pretty good, but from what from what I'm seeing right here, it don't look as good as the, as the other nine in the top ten having by far Wait, the what? lowest poverty rate and best economic opportunity plus I the probably just got really good stats as well natural beauty is magical it sure was a real battle between these 50 states and while the granite state may be small i don't think anyone's surprised they came out on top wow i'm very surprised about the top one but obviously i don't live in america so i don't know much about new hampshire there's got to be good reasons to why it's number one by looks i would think it's just scrape like top 10 but really good video let me know what your guys opinions are in the comment section really interested to find them out especially my american viewers you guys will know a lot more than i do so yeah i'll definitely be reading comments let me know what you think should be like top five or whatever where your state should have been if you agree with the new hampshire one because from me just watching this video if i'm basing it on looks i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna have to like pull it up a little bit and bring the others a bit down but yeah really good video though enjoyed that hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe for more content i'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash alphabet if you guys want to check me out over there i'll see you all in the next video peace